and inside there you can see the crescent moon there's a tube and i think the shirt is around the tube what the hell is going on you guys Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. And you know, one of my favorite up and coming designers these days, probably not even at this point up and coming, she's like super established, is Maureen Sayer, especially her like crescent moon logo, I don't know, iconography, whatever you want to call it. It is sick. I love it so much. So I went ahead and got myself a fishnet shirt that's covered in the crescent moon and I got it and I'm excited to check it out because I got a tube. <laughs> it came in a tube. I've never received a piece of clothing like this in my life. I don't understand it and we're just going to check that out, see what that's all about and we're going to check the piece out too because I'm sure that's going to be very cool as well. Maybe even cooler than the tube. But first, I've looked into it, and a very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. You just press that button, and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. And as Jesus said, in the beginning, there was a tube. And outside, surrounding that tube, was a Ziploc bag. That's exactly what he said, right? I, I read the Bible. No, I didn't. So, I don't think this has any stickers or anything on it. Okay, so we got a Ziploc bag. And inside there, you can see the crescent moon. There's a tube. And I think the shirt is around the tube. I don't know. It's so great. This piece is insane. So first, let's look at uh, these tags here. So the first thing we get is like this textured piece of cardstock. You can see this kind of waviness to it. It's really weird. I've never seen a piece of cardstock that looks like that. And then embossed in there, I think... No, debossed. It goes inwards. You have that crescent moon logo up at the top, and then centered underneath it, marine sayer, all in caps. Under that, the retailer, in this case Essence, did put a sticker, and that has the model name, the size, and model number. That's probably the most important thing. So if you do have a sticker like this, just make sure all the info checks out. On the back of that, we have the more important sticker because this is the sticker that actually came from Marine Sayre. So while not every piece will have a sticker like this, every piece should have a sticker like this. So we've got this kind of wireframe stuff going on. In the top left, you've got the logo and logo print. Then you get our model number and color there, in this case, black. Our size, which is medium. We'll definitely talk about the sizing a bit later on. Then we get the model name in all caps, Moonfish Net Top and we get like an outline of the piece itself there. There is one other piece of cardstock here, and this tells you how to put it on, I guess, or how to unroll the piece that is inside and around the tube. That is so crazy. I wonder why they did that. I guess so it doesn't get all tangled up, because it is a pretty, I'm guessing, sensitive kind of piece with this fishnet here, right? So that's got the instructions there, crazy. And then on the back, ooh, nice, a big, big drawing of what the piece should look like in the end. I'm super excited for that. And these are both attached with this white string here, and that goes to a safety pin. It then goes to, I don't know, the thing that cinches the tube shut. Let's take a look at this. So what the hell is going on, you guys? I don't understand. I'm going to need to refer to our, oh my god our little guide here so that's the arm weird so this is like cinch shut on there let's get that open okay so that just opens up on its own easy peasy and then i'm guessing this rolls off of here i'm just kind of guesstimating how this is supposed to work yeah this this seems right so that comes here oh that's just the sleeve what the fuck Guys, what is happening? And then there's our tube, just like a cardboard tube, it looks like, kind of like glossy plastic coating. And then I guess that's the shirt stuffed inside there. Yep, there she is. Let's pull it out. Okay, there it is. What the hell? So this really was just a sleeve for the tube itself. I am so confused by this packaging, you guys. All right, well, let's unravel the actual shirt, I guess. So right now, as it stands, this shirt looks to be about the size of like a wee little baby. It is tiny, and I think that's because all the netting is super tight right now, so that'll stretch out a lot. Like you can barely even make out 
the crescent moons that are, you can kind of see them, but I think they're going to be much more pronounced when you actually stretch this out and put the piece on. I actually wasn't expecting to get any brand tags at the back of the neck here. I figured they'd keep it totally just blank, but you actually do get some stuff going on here. So this is an embroidered white tag here, really smooth and stitched in there in black. You've got Marine Serre border lines. So they, Marine Serre has a bunch of different lines. I don't fully understand what each of them mean. Like some are more sustainable, some are more like runway. I'm not sure what border line is, but this is stitched in with these single little dotted black stitches in the top left and right. And then you can see the tag is folded over and on the back it's got the inverse colors there. You also get one clean stitch going across the bottom of this for the care tag. And that's like a glossy plasticky tag, a single loop tag. And it's got that logo with Marine Sair centered underneath it. We get that model number, which matches what was on our sticker. And then fabrication, which is polyamide and elastane uh, in a couple languages there. And on the back of that, it gets into our washing instructions, all center justified and love to see it made in Italy. And then underneath that, you get your little loop size tag in the same material as the care tags. Now let's see if I can stretch this out just a little bit so that we can see a bit more of the texturing and patterning in there, because it's really cool. Uh, nope, I tried, and it looks like unless you put it on, it's always going to be about this tight. But down here, you can, when you, if you separate the layers, you start to see it a bit better. So you start stretching it out, and then you'll see how those crescent moons really start to pop when that fishnet starts stretching there. So, I mean, I think at this point, the best I can do to show you the vibe here is to just put the piece on. So let's do it. Wow, this piece is cool as hell. Uh, first, let's talk about the sizing, though, because one of the biggest things that you should know about Marine Sayer is that Pretty much all the stuff, I believe, is unisex. So they're selling the same stuff to men and women. And for that reason, always, always, always for her tops, size up at least one size. So I usually wear a small, but I went with a medium here because I knew it was going to be tight. And I'm super glad I did because now medium fits perfect. I, a large probably even would have worked for me. So size up one to two sizes if you're a man. But really, the fit isn't that big of a deal. I mean, it's fishnet. It is made to stretch pretty much as much as it needs to until it inevitably breaks. But at least for me, it doesn't feel like it's in any danger of breaking. I'm not that muscular. You know, I wish. I wish. But it's really cool. I love this piece. However, obviously, unless you're really trying to pull, like, a raver boy power move, you're probably not going to be wearing this out just on its own. I think the real move here, the real vibe, is to use this as the bottom part of a layering look. Throw a t-shirt or some sort of short sleeve on top of it so those arms show out, and then layer from there. I think that's really, really the best use case for a piece like this, and I'm so excited. I think it's really going to work great. Those pops of crescent moon in the fishnet on the arms is perfect for so many looks. So that is what a real Marine Sayre Crescent Moon piece looks like. Take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.